Hi, Ethan. Hi. Want to watch me play some Blood Bowl? Yeah. Good, because I recorded some. Look at that dude's hair. Yeah. Um, uh, this is a game from the Goon Bowl quarterfinals. I am playing my pro elf team, throw it or lose it. And unfortunately, in the game before this one, it's an okay tournament, uh, I got three miss next. Um, one, blit uh, one blitzer, one catcher, and some random line elf. Which in turn means I've got a bunch of extra inducement money. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to go for a star player or perhaps a merc with a skill. Uh, but I can't think of a skill that's really good enough. Uh, there's a, I'm playing against uh, some necros and there's a uh, ghoul on the necro team that has uh, sure hands and seems to be doing most of the touchdowns. So I go for the uh, a bit, I don't know, uh, more, less boring? I go for the wizard approach. Uh, Maybe you can kill him, stupid ghoul. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Actually, no, I'm not gonna try. I'm pro elf. We don't punch people. We run away from everyone. So I am. Hang on. Who am I playing against? I know who I'm playing against. I'm going. I'm playing against Vips, uh, Necro team, uh, goal and passing. He's actually not called. He's called. Uh, we discovered earlier that I can't pronounce people's names. He's just Vips. He's just Vip. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. He's also Swedish, which is why all of the chat messages, like after half of the game, is going to be in Swedish. So I cut most of them out. It's uh, either side complaining about stuff. So yep, this is my pro elf team. I figure I should uh, I should talk a bit about it. Um, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to recording games, so for some reason. I forgot to change the uh, display from positionals to numbers uh, because I usually play with positionals on because I can't tell the pro elves apart well enough. Uh, but I think we'll have to, we'll just have to do. Um, my general plan is to uh, run my catchers and whoever else on the team that can catch the ball downfield and then keep my thrower and my dump off catcher in the back to hold on to the ball. Uh, hopefully splitting Vip's team up in less, more easily handled um, sizes. He's got he's got some zombies that can't uh, move very quickly or anywhere anyways, so... Uh, and he's got way scarier uh, wolves than I have anything on my team. I've got one blitzer right now and he's fresh, so he's only got uh, block and sidestep. And you know how horrible that is. Oh, no. Uh, how do you even get by with those skills? It's, it's not possible. <laughs> There's, it's, it's, it's really weird. I've got... I've, uh, Pro Elves can have two Blitzers on their team. And they're the only ones on the team that, that's got armor value 8. Everyone else got armor value 7. And for some reason, the players that seem to die or at least get injuries that are permanent enough for me to kick them... Blitzers... It's because once someone like tries to take one down and he sidesteps, you just keep doing it forever until he dies. Because <laughs> screw that guy. Yes, the the catcher I just moved down. Um, that's Cool Hand Luke. He's he's got uh, blanch and plus movement, so he's got movement nine. But he's got an armor value decrease, and he's still alive and kicking. Which he really shouldn't be because I should have booted him, but he's got plus movement it's and I love. It's because no one can movement. catch him. This is true. He's just Except gone. this team. Well, yeah, well, because. Because uh, Vip's got a. Um, got a wolf with <laughs> plus movement as well. And claw frenzy, block and dodge. It's, <laughs> it's actually got the exact same. Uh, Skill increases as Cool Hand Luke, only not minus armor. And the and he's a cool cool dog. I don't know. I don't know. I'm always ha I'm I'm better at pro elf defense. 
I feel like, because there's too much on the line when you're doing offense. Uh, luckily, I have a really good thrower. Uh, a bit of a jerk. I think He's I found got... out how your blitz has died. <laughs> well, they never do any touchdowns, so they never get dodge. <laughs> and it's also one of them things that you've got... You've got, like, two blitzers, and they're supposed to be semi-decent at uh, knocking people down. So you're like, hmm, should I give him dodge? It's really good, but... But I want to punish people. Maybe some tackle, or strip ball. Something useful. So they never get dodge. Yeah, like, all of your dudes can get dodge. Like, why? Yeah. Then again, my my blitzers can't even get guard, if I remember correctly. I don't yeah, think they have no, strength yeah, access. No, I don't think they get half strength access. Yeah. But I do, have some, I do have some nice line elves. I got one that's got plus strength and lock, and I've got one that's got uh, plus agility and blotch. So he's, like, the best dude in he's the, the game. Guy who pick, he's the guy who picks up the ball into tackle zones. Yeah. I hate that guy. I love him. Do you wanna do you wanna go over the necro team quickly? Yeah, yeah. Give it a go. Well. Ow. Damn. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah, he's he's just having an extra nap. The uh, uh, necro team. Uh, he's got a really fast werewolf with mm -hmm. the plus movement. He's got like the ultimate assassin werewolf with block, mighty blow, tackle, piling on, and jump up. As yeah. well as starting with Claw Frenzy and Regen. Freaking assholes, boy, he is. got pretty standard Flesh Golems, both with block and guard, which is... That's all they need, really. Yeah, yeah, can't argue with that. Yeah, he's got he's got two whites, one with dodge, which is, mm -hmm. which is really good. Yeah. Um, what, and they've both got Mighty Blow, one's got guard. He's got a kicking zombie, because... Well, what else are you going to put on a zombie? Yeah, and Kick is really good. I used to have a Kick uh, player on this team, but he got died. <laughs> He's got a really fast school with plus movement. Mm -hmm. And sure hands and block. So he's yeah. really good. And he's got um, another goal, which is the other direction you can take goals. You can either take them as um, like cool runners. Yeah, he's pretty much the ball carrier with uh, sure hands. But his other ghoul's got block guard and sidestep, so he's a guy who gets in and gives assists all the time, and mm -hmm. you can't get him out, so he's that highly mobile dude that turns the blocks around. Uh, currently, I've got my uh, my fancy f fingers Frederick catcher holding the ball, and that's because he's got dump off, and he can do this. He's got enough movement that he can actually run away. Uh, one extra, one extra turn. I I could try. I could probably pretty easily do if I wanted to a two turn touchdown, but I don't want to because I wanna. I want this half to end with me being one uh, up one zero. So I want to try to at least. I want to score at least still like one turn. And since I'm an asshole enough, I, I figure, well, this is easy. <laughs> this the, is the, easy, I'm elves. Yeah. The annoying bit is right here. Uh, that's Cool Hand Luke, and he doesn't have sidestep. And I don't want him to get blitzed by, by the scary werewolf. Yeah, he can't Yeah, he, he can't hang out anywhere near the edge. And if, if he runs towards the edge, the werewolf can't really get to him, but he can be surfed. The the only safe place is Surf Town, mm. and I don't want to stay there. Uh, but luckily, up by I think it's up by up by the downed flesh golem. I think that's where I've got my uh, my other uh, my agility five guy. So worst case scenario, if I can't pass. Uh, to Cool Hand Luke, I can try and get it to Agility 5 Guy. Uh, as I, I think I mentioned, my thrower has safe throw accurate and, and strong arm, so he actually long bombs on a 3+. plus. Yeah, he's actually th the second best throwing dude. Yeah, he um, he's actually, he is the best thrower in the league. 
I'm not sure he's done the most passes, but he's thrown a hundred yards plus uh, more than any other thrower. I think he's up to maybe three hundred something yards, and everyone else is up to two hundred something yards. And I'm going to assume cyanide yards are one square. Yeah. I I tend I tend to long bomb a lot with this team. Well, but that's it's... that that's pro elves. Yeah, it keeps the ball safe. But it's kind of scary because, like I said early on, I I'm actually missing three three of my players uh, with miss next, and I had a guy. I think that's good. It's really good for me. That leaves him standing, which is what exactly what I wanted. Uh, but I'm I'm down. I'm down a few players. I I like to play pro elf with twelve players if I can. Uh, Thirteen is good, but tends to get a bit bloated. Yeah. You give away too many um, inducements. But twelve is good because you can. That way you can. Uh, you've got eleven because you guys are going to get knocked out regardless. But pro elf, pro elf team can pretty easily manage to play, depending on, on the opposite team, of course, but they can usually play just fine with, I'd say, nine players, uh, depending on who's knocked out, uh, whatever. Yeah. But pretty much anyone on that team can score. Um, so, I'm, I'm, as soon as someone gets knocked out or injured, I'm like, fuck, I don't want, I don't want that, because VIP actually has uh, 12 players, so... If he, um, he's going to have such yeah, an advantage. Yeah, he's always going to have a numbers advantage mm -hmm. on you should anything, like even one dude down, and he's set really. Yeah. But this is looking decent. Um, like I said, I've got two loner line elves, so I don't really want to do much with them. Um. I should really be playing uh, the uh, Runaway Pro Elf game. Yeah. But I also like like punching people, you also and like I can. To push. It's especially in this group, but I punch with the wrong guy. Kind of. That's um. Also, I'm, I'm. It's it's a bit scary now because next turn, if I don't pass this turn, they are pretty much gonna steal the ball from me. Uh, well, almost. That's my one wrestle dude. He's really good, especially in this game, uh, as the Google ball carrier. Uh, it's got blodge yeah. and short hand, so I can at least knock him down, uh, knock the ball loose rather, on two results rather than uh, just one. <laughs> I'm just looking at this ridiculous throw and going, oh yeah, well that dude's got no steel, so he doesn't even care. Yeah, and I'm like, at this point, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not supposed. I'm not supposed to fail a throw. Uh, I I cut that whole uh, bit out because I was like, "What the fuck? That's not how safe throw works." <laughs> because as as you well remember, I tend to uh, mix up the rules a lot. So for some reason, I'm like, "Well, safe throw. That means that if you if you shark the ball but don't fumble, he keeps on ke he keeps holding on to it, and it's actually the opposite. If you if you fumble it, he doesn't." He keeps holding on to it. Luckily, uh, while I fumbled my... Ridiculously uh, long throw. Yeah, I, I failed a 3-plus with a reroll. Um, he failed his 3-plus pickup. Unfortunately, there are two dudes on it. And so that's both, not good. They're both pretty good dudes. Yep. Luckily for me... Now, I... I tend to never... I've got four catchers, but uh, my experience with this team is that I've never... I think I've managed to play, like, one or two games with four catchers. There's always one of one of them's, like, miss next for some reason. Uh, so, I really should be using one of them as some kind of uh, blitzer because they're so fast. And, oh, that's, that's really good. That is really good. That's excellent. I did not expect that to work. Yeah, you normally don't KO flash golems. Yeah. 
but yeah, so this is my uh, Agility 5 guy. So all he has to do is pick up the ball in a tackle zone, dodge through a tackle zone, dodge out, and... Uh, do a go for it. Yeah. So four two-plus rolls. And that is excellent news for me. His flesh golem stays out while Your my... Your comes in. Guy. So it's 11-11. I, 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 I agree with Vip. <laughs> it's just like... Uh, elves. On the one hand, they're really cool and exciting to watch for stuff like that. On the other hand, fuck them. <laughs> it's, not what you, it's not really what you want to happen. <laughs> it's excellent when you were the elves. It's not yeah, so excellent. It's just, oh, he'll never make this ridiculous. Oh, no, he did. He's, <laughs> oh, he's elves. But luckily, he's probably going to kill one of your guys in the next four turns. Yeah, and I was so excited I had to get some tea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the main issue. There are two downfalls for my uh, pro elf team, and the first one is armor seven working as intended. Mm -hmm. Since I keep forgetting or not wanting to uh, dodge away with all my guys because I'm leaving them around to give assists and stuff like that. That's not elf weather, by the way. Makes everything harder to pick up and catch. How, that said, it's even worse ghoul weather. Yeah, yeah. That that's the thing. Like it's it's not it's not elf weather, but you're so good at it. It just makes you like a normal team now, and yeah. tips his team into not so good at it anymore. But yeah, as a, as I was going to say, the downfall of this team is uh, having armor seven. Uh, knock everyone out, which is likely, uh, but it can be negated by not leaving dudes to stand around. Of course, it can't happen when uh, <laughs> on the which, LOS, so that's bound to happen. sweet guy? Oh, he sucks anyway, whatever. Yeah. Who even cares? He, um, he got... Uh, <laughs> that's actually... Uh, a sweet guy is the guy I keep rebuying. Because my line elf die, so I've, for the like last five or six games, I've had a fresh line elf, uh, not fresh, but one a line elf with zero star play points that <laughs> keeps keeps dying on me or losing armor value or movement or something. So I don't want to keep him a niggling, for example. Yeah, yeah. And I have I've had enough money, so I've been able to rebuy him. Uh, so that's that's one one of the downfalls of the pro elf team. The other is rolling once. Yeah. Rolling one, a one is fine, but as soon as you start rolling two two ones in a row, it's bad news because the elves do pretty much everything if you play them properly on two plus. Well, not properly, but as intended. And that really annoyed me, because I... I really want to surf that white. Like, a lot. I think you can take him. I, I can. As long as I... As long as I... It's a push and a blitz, which shouldn't be too hard. Uh... The thing is, I need to... I feel I need to use... Uh, the four players over here to uh, to get get rid of a few zombies and move a few of them up so they're in between the ghouls and the werewolf flesh gold and white yeah. team because the ghouls aren't really protected enough and if I can make them run around rather than in straight down he wastes another turn yeah and also uh, yeah like they they have dodge yeah. and they both got block, but that's not the result I want. But look how professional I am and actually take the safe both down rather yeah. than re-roll it. That's how important this game was. I know um, some people say you should get um, dodge as your first skill on elves. I but because then. You can do the thing where you dodge it away one step. Yeah. But also, 
that means all you can do is the dodge away one step thing. Yeah, and I I tend to agree kind uh, mostly, but in this case, uh, if they get a if they get a stash up, I'd rather give them block. Yeah, I mean, because then you can use them offensively. Yeah, and they're they're safer. They're gonna last longer, especially a plus strength guy because he can actually punch, and you want to punch with him. My agility guy, kind of a different matter. He's just as safe with dodge as with block, assuming people don't have tackle. Uh, and if they do have st stat increases, I don't want to give them like I like wrestle on line elves in general because it's a it's a skill that both it's both offensive and defensive. Yeah. Most people aren't going to foul a a line elf. Uh, as the first like foul, and if they do good, yeah, it's for AV8 paper. I managed to. I like punching zombies. I wasn't really expecting it to get knocked out. <laughs> you answered it to go so well, but also, nope. zombies are rubbish. They are. Um, they're the type of players, especially in a necro team, and. This is probably because I'm a shitty necro coach, but I tend to forget about them if um, if she, if the game runs away from them. Like, had the if they can't reach the cage or skirmish, then they're effectively out of the game. Yeah. As long as you can keep it moving. Then again, I'm I'm playing the counter game. I don't want the cage to move as much. Uh, but also, let's not forget that I still have a wizard and even though I don't plan on using it this turn uh, I I feel like the threat of a wizard is really good to have because it kind of uh, if I'm playing against a guy that has a wizard and I'm usually a cagey team I don't want to cage up as hard yeah uh, because you can suffer the fireball. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure if if that's uh, what uh, Vip's uh, doing right now. Uh, because I, I think his werewolf was actually out of movement. And he didn't want to uh, risk it going for it. And have two, <laughs> uh, two fallen uh, players right next to the ball carrier. Uh, but it, it it also means he doesn't have as many uh, cage cage uh, players in uh, fireball range, which is good. And I like the open cage. It's it's good for me because I can I can get into it. I'm not expecting any uh, ball to get knocked out because it's a uh, blodge and sure hand school. So it's going to keep on through the ball. I'm I'm not counting on a. Six plus roll. That's also really good. Stunned werewolf. Mm -hmm. But I'm 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 trying my best just to. I mean, I could I could try and go for the screen here, and do an elf screen. But the problem with that is that his werewolf, his front werewolf, and his his ghouls are too fast. They can actually run through one pretty effectively, so I'm I rather want him to to dodge away from me. Yeah. If that's possible, because even though agility three isn't that bad of a dodge, it's a three plus dodge, and a lot of his players have dodge. I am my team is way better at rolling. Uh, at handling die die rolls than his is because I tend to do my stuff on two plus he does his stuff on three plus so I'm trying to get him to roll as many dice as possible and I think here I realize that his werewolf is actually it's within scoring distance uh, so that's why I am I'm trying to decide if I should double mark him or not, and with who. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think I move my catcher over there. And 
That's not what I want. That's not what you want. But I want him to stand over there. Okay, yeah, so he's going to have a really bad time getting out of there. Yeah, except there's a big stinking hole in the middle now, which now. wasn't very clever of me. Uh, so I'm not really, I'm not pleased with that, but... Oh, right, that was my wrestle guy. That's why I did that. It's clever of me. That, yeah, that is. Okay, so, so now he's going to punch that blitzer and then just run away. Yeah, and here's... Uh, here's one. Here's where I, uh, I for some reason, like because I'm playing pro elves, think that he's got blotch and he doesn't. So I'm moving backwards. Had I had I not been an idiot and realized he'd actually not have dodge, I would have moved him the opposite way to to block yeah, that so exit. He, yeah. Ah, oh, I love that guy. He's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, also good and <laughs> that is the most annoying thing that can happen to uh, to a player with frenzy when he's punishing a blotch guy I hate having four dice and not being able to, to knock someone down it's even worse when they've got sidestep like that, that's what I want but uh, I'd rather it happen to players that don't have dodge not like that, though. Ow. Ow. But, yeah, so... So, the... The ball is still kind of accessible. And I am a sucker for trying to figure out how to punch to get to the ball. Also, it should be noted, because I didn't say this earlier, but this is actually a rematch. Uh, before the knockout tournament, which is like the final bit of the the season's Goon Bowl, uh, there's been two seasons of division play, and uh, uh, VIP was actually in my division, uh, Division 1. And so we've played before. Uh, last, uh, last game he won 4-2. So that was a way quicker game than this is. And I'm not entirely sure what happened to that game, because I don't remember it. It was like five or six games ago. Was that when your team was still raw? Or was it after they'd got some... No, it was actually my team at that point had a higher team value than it has now. I, I mean, like, right now. Because my... My team value, when the team is full health and working as it should, is around seven, seventeen, eighteen hundreds. And I think when we last played, I think I was like probably sixteen hundreds, and he was fifteen hundreds or something like that. So I was actually, I think, and this is out of memory, so this might actually be all wrong, but I think I, I was the higher team value team when we played. Uh, Last uh, last time. Now I'm trying to figure out what the fuck, to, how to punch. So I go with the. <laughs> you go with the one that works. Yeah, and that's in two tackle zones, and it's raining. He's not going to pick that up. You're really tempted, aren't you? You're actually really tempted. Yep. Uh, but I realize that if I move him down, I can punch the wolf instead and still have a tackle zone on the ball. So I do that. Unfortunately, I can't knock the, uh, knock the wolf down. What I really wanted to do was knock the wolf down, move forward so I could get an assist on the zombie up there, because that's a guard zombie. And then push the zombie onto yeah. the ball. The Actually, that's probably. Well, I probably wouldn't want to have. Uh, I probably wouldn't have pushed it into ball, seeing as I only had one tackle zone on it, and it could have scattered anywhere. Because I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm, I'm really pleased with this situation, 
He needs to p he needs to pick uh, the ball up. It's a bit annoying. There are a lot of dudes around, and he needs to move his guys down and uh, free them up to actually score next uh, next turn. Yeah, he's got one turn left to do it. It's going to be close. Mm. So I'm feel I'm feeling pretty good about it. The worst uh, wolf. Also, check out the <laughs> timer. Yeah. Um, this was actually this was a a pretty long game. So um, yeah, and that's not what I wanted to happen. It's the opposite of what you wanted. Yeah. But then again, I feel like I can't really bitch about rolls. You just have to... <laughs> well, you can fill in the pun. Okay, so... You got you got to make a play. Well, here's the thing. Uh, currently, both the ghoul and the uh, werewolf are within scoring range. Yeah. Uh, so the question is, uh, what do I do about it? And I'm I'm trying to figure out, uh, well, uh, what to, uh, what's the best course of action? And I figured the first thing to do, which is actually kind of safe, uh, is to get a get a, uh, get a type of zone. Yeah, so he at least needs to dodge out. So that's one roll. And then I'm trying to decide what to do with this uh, catcher. And I think, in, yeah, in the end I, I decide to just uh, have him stand next to the ghoul. Uh, that way, uh, blocking a pass. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that's a perfect intercept. And pro elves do that better than anyone. Yeah. And uh, I realized that I can... Uh, I want to blitz with the loner, which is never a good idea. Mm -hmm. Because that can happen. Yeah. Uh, but then you can succeed in your loner roll. Yeah. And then failure going for it. Yeah. Uh, but my plan was... To uh, the reason I blitzed with him was because I wanted to push a werewolf back one space, uh, which would make it even harder for him to to score. I, I mean, I was hoping to knock him down, but at least a push result would have uh, would have made it even hard harder. Okay, that's not what you you wanted. No, this is not going according to plan. Not going to according to plan at all. But he still needs to make a few rolls. He needs to do a handover. Yep. He does have a reroll. And if he hands over to the werewolf, he needs to make, I think, one going for it at this point. So it's a three plus handover because it's raining. And then a two plus, plus going for it. Assuming they can knock away my lineman, which they didn't. He actually failed his. Uh, he failed his dodge. Rerolled it. Success. Yeah. Failed the handover. Rerolled it, and uh, made the going for it. So he <laughs> saved up just enough rerolls to make it work. And so things even in the second half, and it's your kick to him. Yep. And it's ten versus ten on the field. But this, uh, this, uh, 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 this play, my wizard comes into play. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop him from scoring, uh, and then hopefully turn it around. Yep.
My plan is to do pretty much what I did in the first half. Score first and then stop him from scoring. Um, but then I got a blitz. Well, elves. Yep. You know what's so great about having a plus strength line elf? Is it you can just be the worst man in the world when it comes to blitzes? Yep. That zombie. That poor zombie. That poor elf. Yeah, I know. Freaking brutal, mate. Now I need to make a 2 plus roll. Phew! Uh, 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 uh. I was yeah. gonna. I was gonna say, are you gonna go for it? And then I remembered you've got this ridiculous catcher. <laughs> he was further back than that guy. Yeah, but he's got movement nine. Oh, I love skinks. <laughs> he's actually just as easy to to actually he's easier to hurt than a skink. And here. Once again, my tournament play, uh, my tournament play comes into into play because I didn't actually move the dodge guy that I wanted to move up because I was like, hey, wait a minute, I should probably cover the backfield a bit more with people that I don't have to roll for before I do this. Now, if I'd been super clever, I would have uh, tried to catch it with my dump off catcher. Yeah. But I'm not that smart. And uh here's some uh bullshit dodging. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's only into two tackle zones. Du -du 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 -du. Oh I hate that. And I didn't want I, I thought about moving him next to someone, but I figured he'd be more annoying just standing there with tackle zones. Yeah, because then you have to force a blitz rather yeah. than just a move and then punch. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, for all of uh, you that don't speak Swedish, uh, this happened in the last Gunball game as well. <laughs> to me. In the second half. <laughs> Okay, so are you going to try and stall this one out? No. <laughs> oh, um, here comes the wolf. Because I... Yeah. Luckily, it's not the tackle wolf, since he's stuck on the front line. Clawhand Luke survives! I wish it was Clawhand Luke. Ah. Oh, I rip, wish it. Rip, rip Clawhand Luke. <laughs> he died as he lived in a sewer. Yes, he did. Uh, I was going to say, the reason I'm not stalling uh, is because if I'm up to one, then I'm in the same position as I wanted to be in. Yeah. In after the first half. And even if he manages to to tie tie it early on, or halfway through the second half, I'm gonna I'm gonna receive, and I don't think I'm gonna have any problem scoring yeah. on the necros quickly if I wanted to. Yeah. And if it, even if even if his score is late in the second half, uh, the way I've been told, I haven't actually ever gotten to overtime in. Uh, Blood Bowl Engineer Edition, or Cyanide Blood Bowl, but apparently all it does is it keeps going. In in proper Blood Bowl, there's a tie on who gets to kick and receive and whatever. But in in this version, apparently it just keeps going. So even if he scores on turn 16, it's gonna go into overtime, and I'm gonna be the guy receiving. Yeah. And here I'm trying to figure out how to avoid that stinky. Uh, dodge into tackle zones, uh, uh, through tackle zones rather, and I, I think I've yeah, this is a mi minute, and I've realised that I can 
and there's also a um, uh, VIP was a bit laggy, so there's a few connection issues. But all of them worked out. But it, it, it will mean that it will be kind of... You'll see. Any case, um, I figured I can just hand it over to... Uh, what's his face? Um, Fancy Fingers Frederick. Yeah, he doesn't care. No, he rolls a six. And he can uh, dodge out on a two plus. He doesn't have dodge, but I've got rerolls. And he's got dump off. Yeah. Which is not going to help him when he dodges, but... <laughs> Still, he's got dump, he's got dump off, and kind of laggy. But he rolled a six again. <laughs> I hate that guy. Why? He's got one stupid glove. He's he's a dump off catcher, <laughs> and that's freaking excellent news it's for me. Probably the best thing that could have happened. Yeah. Uh, because not having his, and it's it's one of those things you don't realize. But when, when one of your key players on your LOS is out, you have to like rearrange your whole setup, which yeah, kind of fucks with you. Yeah, like he could, like normally have two flesh columns and a zombie on the line. Yeah, but uh, one flesh column and two zombies isn't. Really the same. Nope. Uh, a bribe. It's, I hadn't planned on fouling, but now I'm kind of tempted to uh, to kick the wolf. Yeah. The scary one, that is. They're both pretty scary, but yeah. One has tackle. That makes him scary. I'm used to for some reason there's been there's a lot of mighty blow in the league but there's not that much tackle and I reckon tackle <laughs> tackle is way worse even though my team isn't filled up with dodge I think I've got I've got like four dodge guys right now yeah damn I don't have much dodge why do I worry about tackle yeah it's because the couple of guys that have got it, it's really important that they don't fall down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's three three of my catchers and my plus agility guy. And they all really need it. Oh, he, keeps, he keeps putting white next to the line, making me want to punch him. But you can't punch a white, they're too strong. Oh. Poor and honest character. What do you think I'm gonna do? Yeah. Yeah, he's. That's, he, um... that's really important that that didn't happen. Yeah, he's, he's super useful. Um, I mean, he'd still be. He'd, built, he'd still be useful at 5 uh, movement, but he'd be nowhere near as good. And uh, kind of my plan all along was also, as soon as one of my key players gets knocked out, if it's in the second half, I'm going to use my Apothecary, because I, I really need to win this game. Uh, that's priority number one, and then worry about the next game after that. So if I can apothecary him and get him back in, that's that's actually worth a lot. Yeah. Uh, had he been just badly hurt, I probably wouldn't have done it uh, because he's not that important. Uh, say had my had my thrower been badly hurt, I would probably have done it because my play doesn't really work without my super annoying thrower. Yeah. Especially when it's raining. So now I'm, um, I'm gonna go stand next to next to the ball carrier again. I figure it's a pretty good idea at this point to just, since I can get in, get some guys on the ball carrier. Um, be annoying, slow him down. Because it it also means that even if he can knock knock my two guys away, he's gonna have to commit some players to give assists. 
to do so, and that keeps them from following the cage too closely. Yeah. And at this point, I want to... Well... That... It's not supposed to happen. <laughs> well, it's only the dump-off guy. Yeah, but he scored. Yeah. It's actually... On his, the thing that's more important with that guy is the fact that he's got eight movement. Mm -hmm. um, since the ghouls and the wolves can kind of run away, the fact that I've got I can always catch up is really useful to me. So now I'm down to now I'm down to eight players on the field right now, which is not great. Seeing as he's got ten. Luckily, a few of them are zombies. And you've still got a wizard. I do. Which is another reason why I want to keep my uh, my guys close. Uh, and I am I'm planning to use the uh, lightning bolt. Uh, regardless, because my main priority is to knock the ball loose. Because I figure I can pick it up. It's not that hard. It's only raining. But this isn't great. Uh, my guys are kinda... You're in a bad spot. Yeah. You guys are all sorts of surrounded. There's a goal mm -hmm. with the wall. Yeah. Your dude who was your defensive line got himself ejected. Mm-hmm. Luckily, this happened, which is good for me, in a way, because there's just one ghoul there, and even though it's really far, well, there's one ghoul right now, there might be more players coming up. Um, I kind of, at this point, I need to do something about that ghoul. And that's a great start. Yup. That is less great. Because he he was actually able... I think he, he actually... He did reach the goal. And he doesn't anymore. Do it. Zap him. Oh well. Okay, so that's... That's two turns. Mm-hmm. But, like you said, most of my guys are not in a great position right now. Especially my uh, my really useful guys. I do have three rerolls, which is good, because he's only got one. So now I'm trying to... Uh, my, uh, my catcher up there, sh I think, is Cool Hand Luke. And he can actually... Uh, he can he can reach the ball if he really wants to. Uh, just have be to nice knock. Nice to to clear this guy out the way. So you've got a better route. Yeah. Poifik. Unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen. So now I don't have a great route, and he can't reach. I mean, the the good thing right now is that uh, most of his players can't reach either. Yeah. Uh, they can with a bit of punching, of course, uh, assuming all the punching works. Uh, that's not how I wanna. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go around and come yeah. back. And I am. Um, I wasted my reroll. So, since he can't reach anyways, um, I'm not going to try yeah, to get him no closer. Yeah, there's no point pushing your luck. Yeah. You bought yourself an extra turn with the lightning bolt, so you may as well use it. Yeah, exactly. And even if he scores, which is highly likely, I um, uh, there's not going to be that many turns because I'm going to I I'm still assuming that I can do a two turn touchdown. Yeah when he scores, and after that there's not going to be that many turns left for him to, to counter. 
Yeah. So. I love you just doing it one at a time to rub it in. It's no, it's because <laughs> it's because he does have dodge, and my plan was to stop when he uh, when he, he had used, used his dodge. Yeah. yeah. Then I failed a freaking pickup. It's rainy, isn't it? It's freaking cool and Luke. It's got greasy fingers. Yeah. But you've now somehow ended up with a reasonable defense. I know. <laughs> Which is uh, uh, is good. You still got that blitzer? Yep. All the way at the back. So yeah, no, this is this is way better than what it was. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, unfortunately, his um, werewolf is free, and mm -mm, let's see. No, it's only one. One of the, uh, them have dodge, and I'm not entirely sure which one's got dodge right now. Oh right, wait, his his uh, white right there. It's got dodge, so that white can dodge out. So they can get a two die block on my. Uh, uh, on my catcher if they wanted to. Like so. And unfortunately, Cool Hand Luke doesn't have sidestep, so. Uh, that's even worse. Yeah, that's the killer. Uh, good thing he wasted his last reroll. Bad thing, kinda needed Cool Hand Luke. Yeah. Good thing he rolled double sixes on ar his armor roll. So they wasted them. Considering <laughs> he only had rolled seven. Yeah, that's that's definitely that's definitely a good one. That's not great. That's my fresh blitzer getting him <laughs> getting a miss next game. You, you didn't need him. <laughs> no, he's only got block block and sidestep. And my other blitzer has Block sidestep triple dauntless. That's probably the worst place it could have bounced. It's not a great place. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. Not not great. At least the ghoul's not up. Yeah, but he's he's gonna. At least I I've I've got some uh, some dudes that are kind of free. And like I said, I still have my rerolls, so shouldn't be too bad doing. A few going for it and getting some guys on some tackle zones on the ball. Here I'm trying to to figure out. Yeah, you need that strength guy. Yeah, but I can also. I'm trying to figure out if I want to uh, if I want to block with the loner. And I do. So uh, the reason I went with the strength guy, even though I didn't have to, is because I figured, depending on how it scatters, if the werewolves don't pick it up, I can dodge out with my catcher and grab it. And then this jerk. Then an innocent victim up. just grabs it, which is not what I want because it kind of stops my whole freaking uh, drive. And now I also don't have anyone up there because my freaking blitzer decided that enough was enough. At least an innocent victim yeah. has wrestle. <laughs> yeah. Right, so so the dude that's going to take him down, he can at least take him down as well. So that's one less tackle zone on the ball. And for some reason, the guy I most, uh, the guy I really don't want to get hurt, is the thrower, and he keeps getting into positions where he needs to give assists or cover stuff and just be in the way, which is super annoying because he tends to get punched, and I'm always like. Ah, yeah. 
Especially when I don't have an apothecary. Uh, look at that. Um, just punching. Punching my poor uh, strength for <laughs> like that. She's fine. Yeah. Luckily, I've got uh, a Bloodweiser babe. So chaos don't bother me. Uh, I mean, they still bother me, but not as much as they could. That, on the other hand, is a great scatter. Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that says, damn, I'm good. Yeah, pretty much. No, I was actually being be, uh, being very humble. <laughs> I said that's probably more luck than I deserve. And now this is going to happen. Boom! That's... So yeah, um... Here's the problem. He, <laughs> he has to dodge through every single tactical zone that has ever existed. Yeah. Exactly. Um... Good news. That's Heavenly Horus. So he's got blotch sidestep. Yeah. Um... That's okay. Uh, he Ooh. can he, if he survives the punching, I can get him out. And you've also got a reroll. Yes. Um, luckily, uh, I I decided the best course of action was to do dodge was to dodge through one tackle zone, uh, but. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the smart way. Whoosh. Guess what I'm gonna do? Is it gonna touch through another one? Yep. But that's not the end of it. This is this is the pro play right here. Oh yeah. Because he's got he's got three turns. And he only has zombies anywhere vaguely near the wall. Yeah, I mean he he's gonna he's gonna be able to run up uh, the ghoul and the werewolves, but they're not gonna reach the ball this turn. And then they're gonna have to run back. Damn, yeah. what a good throw! Yeah. So even if even if they reach the ball, he's still gonna have to pass it down to to tie. And the weather's not conducive to elf bowling, especially mm, when no. you're not elves. So I was actually really proud of that play when I realized I could <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, you were, I'm really glad that, like, that's the thing that happened. Like, that's probably the smartest thing I've ever seen you do. <laughs> it's probably true. I usually don't go for the smart plays. I usually like, ah! Okay, so I need to push this guy, this guy, this guy, and then possibly I can get onto the ball carrier. And then I can do four dodges. And yeah. then score. Yeah, but I mean... Now what? he's just being abusive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is what usually happens with pro elves. Uh, you slowly but surely... If you try and put up a good defense, you slowly but surely <laughs> lose all your players. Uh, which is why you really need to use their superior movement to get the players that you actually do have closer to the ball. Yeah, okay, so then turn 15 at best, he can pick up the ball. Yep. Ah, that horrible werewolf. Oh, oh. actually all right though yeah because that's the um, that's not bad yeah that's not bad at all because I can still reach the ball yeah and uh, the reason I'm not passing it again is because he can still 
regardless of where I would pass it, he can still reach yeah. it with a ghoul, so there's no yeah. point. It's better to just hold on to it. Yeah, and force him to yeah. make a block. Freaking thrower. Then again, that's actually good, because the only reason I dodged the thrower away was so that he wouldn't be able to punch him. And the grass is actually softer than them horrible whites. Yeah, luckily. Because they both have mighty blow. And that horrible werewolf has jumped up. Yeah, he's gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. This is what makes Necro teams a pleasure to watch, because wolves are so good. Yeah, I know. When they introduced the team, they didn't have regenerate. Yeah, like they were. They, they were. They, they they were probably the best positionals in the game without regen, but yeah. it, they just died because they couldn't have an yeah. apothecary. They were super glass cannons. So as soon as they got mighty blow, everyone was like, "Get the werewolf!" And right here, I should have <laughs> blitzed <laughs> because that's actually better. Uh, uh, but I had a reroll, and I'm yeah. like, I'm Elf, picking up yeah. in the rain in one tackle zone. What could possibly go wrong? Well, it turns out, if if you roll a two, you don't pick the ball up. And then you get Seth for your trouble. No, I've got sidestep. Oh, no. Oh, no. But he's got tackle. Uh, the reason there, again, why I didn't... Uh, get on the ball was because on an 8 it would have scattered onto the ghoul and it could have gotten lucky. Yeah, and done a really big throw. Yeah, I didn't want this that. Is, this is where he throws the flesh golem. This Not the is best where throw he, I've ever seen. <laughs> this is where he fails his going for it and I win the game. And right here I'm like, ah, what, what do I need to do to what get would that a real line man do? to the ball to pass it? Just dodge through, some, just dodge through some tackle zones. No, that's really hard. No, it's not. That's, t that's too, too, too. No, it's hard. So I'm like, well, I, I can probably, well, if I blitz you know, one guy, then it's easy. You so don't I'm have any do rerolls either, so it doesn't matter about this. Don't need rerolls. I can fail whatever I want. Yeah. Should have just, should have just gone for the real dude. <laughs> Maybe he would have died when he messed up the dodge. Yeah. Well, and that's my uh, quarterfinals game. I got some money too. D did anyone? Did anyone level up? No, no, <laughs> no one leveled up. Uh, at least I don't think so because uh, cyanide doesn't show levels up until uh, an admin has approved the game. Uh, or a lead oh, commissionary, so I'm yeah. not entirely sure, but I don't think anyone leveled up. I, I'd be surprised if it did, because I tend to try and keep track of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I did. That was an enjoyable game to watch. I'll I'll try and record the semi-finals, and then we'll see what happens. That's the end. That's the end. Good, 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 good.